Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. In this video, we're going to be solving for live loads. So step one is again to find the reactions. So I've just um, taken apart the, I've drawn a free body diagram of our truss, only including the live actions. So we have 40 kilonewtons, point load, point load, point load, and 60 kilonewton, point load, point load, point load. So I've drawn that in 60, 60, 60, 40, 40, 40. This was five meters, five, 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 five. Okay, so in this, we're just finding the free, we're doing the free body diagram first to find the reactions. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the sum of the forces in the x direction such that they equal zero. Bx is the only reaction, so therefore Bx equals zero. There's no other x uh, force. Um, we're then gonna take some of the moments about a, so it's, it's gonna be the exact same process we've done before. So I'm gonna go through a little bit quicker. So if we take moments about a, that one, that one doesn't have a lever arm. So we have 60 by five, that's gonna be positive. 40 plus 60, they're acting in the same uh, line with the same lever arm. So we add them, we have 100 by five. Uh, it's gonna be going clockwise, so it's negative. We have 40 and 60, so adding those is 100. Lever arm is 10, so it's gonna be 100 by 10. Again, that is going clockwise about A, so it's negative 100 by 10. And BY times by a lever arm of 15 meters, and that's gonna be going anti-clockwise. So it's BY by five, and it's 15 and it's positive. Solving this, making by the subject, so we have 60 by 5 minus 100 by 5 minus 100 by 10. Putting that over the other side and then dividing through by 15 gives us 80 kilonewtons. So by is 80 kilonewtons. Then to solve for ay, we're going to take some of the forces in the y direction up as positive. So we have ay plus by. ay plus by is 80. We have three lots of 40 and three lots of 60, and they're both going down. So minus three lots of 40, minus three lots of 60. Solving this, so we have 80 minus 40 by three, minus 60 by three. Putting that over the other side, we have AY equaling 220 kilonewtons. Okay, the next step is then to find the axial loads in one and two. Same method, we're gonna be taking cuts using method of sections.